Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop unboxing for you. This time we're going to be opening up the latest Marvel Collector Cores box. And this time we have the theme of the Marvel Studios Disney Plus shows. And this was a box that I was definitely very intrigued to see what was inside. Luckily I've been keeping away from the spoilers. Uh, for what we have in this box. I know that a few people have posted about what is in this box and luckily every time I see the words Disney Plus Marvel Collector Corp I completely just look away. I don't want to see it because I want it to be a surprise and hopefully you guys do the same as well up until you know watching this video so you're not too spoiled of what you're getting or if you already got the box uh, of course I want you guys to have that experience to open it up yourself and seeing what we have inside so I have absolutely no idea what could come in here but the last few boxes have been good especially this shang chi one where i got this awesome shang chi shirt was this the last one that they put out it might have been because i know that like they had this one delayed for a very long time and then the one before that got canceled so yeah it's a long time coming for a marvel collector quarter box so i'm glad we're finally getting another one and so we see here on the box it's actually the color of like the disney plus logo where it's that kind of different colors of blue where it goes from like light to dark it's really cool and then on the front it does say marvel studios and it does show all of the different disney plus shows we have wandavision we have falcon the winter soldier what if uh then we also have hawkeye they don't have loki on there for some reason though very interesting did they plan like a loki box before and maybe that's why they don't have it on there i don't know why they don't have loki because they should totally have loki because it's a lot of people's favorite Disney Plus show and then of course they don't have Moon Knight because this box was come out way before Moon Knight was supposed to come out it does show that all, of it, all originals on Disney Plus and then of course we have the Marvel Collector Court logo there with the Marvel Studios logo as well so we'll go and crack this box open and see what we can have inside of this mystery box as there are five pieces so normally there's like two pops a t-shirt and then a couple other things like a pin a lanyard sticker stuff like that so we'll go ahead and take a look at what we got inside here before we do that if I just remind you guys to go down below and hit that subscribe button we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers so if you are new to the channel definitely consider subscribing it helps us out with that a ton and of course also please leave a like in the video if you enjoy it, it does make a massive difference and we very much appreciate it so let's go ahead and open this up here we'll go ahead and slice this tape right here there we go and let's see what we have inside I'll go ahead and feel what we have and it looks like the first thing I feel is probably like a pin yeah it definitely feels like a pin and let's see what we got here it is oh that is very cool looks like it's a little like a, a little pin like for your shirt and it says uh, trust the bro moving company and that is from Hawkeye I'll try to give you that maybe you can see I'm not sure how the glare is but trust the bro moving company that is really cool very very funny pin and a great one to add this is definitely one of the better pins they have put out recently with these Marvel uh, collected course box so I absolutely love that one that one is awesome so let's see what we have with the second thing and I think I feel the t-shirt yeah so it looks like there is a t-shirt here and let me go ahead and see let's see if I can get it out of the wrapping without looking and then kind of unveil it together here we have I see Thor's hammer yeah it's oh okay so it says I'm not single I'm saving myself for Thor that is funny so that is from the Marvel what if episode where, where we have party Thor that is a very very funny t-shirt not one of my favorites because it's really a kind of weird kind of joke that's thrown in there during what if it is definitely very funny but uh i was not expecting to see that on a t-shirt probably not one i'm gonna be wearing a lot but give you another look at it, it is definitely a funny looking t-shirt there but of course it does have Miller on there so that is pretty cool as well but uh, yeah a little bit surprising was not expecting that at all so it looks like we have one more thing before the pops and it looks like yeah this is probably the card that says yeah this is the card that normally says what the next thing is going to be i'm going to go ahead and leave that on the side it also tells you everything you got inside the box i don't feel anything else in here unless it's on the bottom who knows but let's go ahead and see if i can get the pops out of here so let's see 
Uh, so this one right here, this is the bottom, I think. Yep, there we go. So we got the new pop right here. And it is, it looks like it's a Scarlet Witch pop. And oh, okay, this one's pretty cool. So it's actually like a, uh, it's a all kind of translucent uh, red Scarlet Witch. I think they did what this one with Doctor Strange a few years back during the original Doctor Strange movie. But this is definitely a really cool looking figure there. You got a better look at it. It's all red there, kind of see-through a little bit. I guess it's her using like the astral projection. That is definitely a really cool figure. So it's just the regular Scarlet Witch with the dark hold pop, uh, which, we, which I got from WandaVision. And you can see here on the back of the box with those WandaVision pops, the same one right there. So it's the same exact pop, except now with that actual projection look, which is definitely really cool. And I'm really glad we added this just in time for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And it looks like we got one more pop. And there was supposed to be something else in here too, but I don't feel anything else. So let's just go for the pop. And the final pop that we have in this box is going to be, it looks like Zemo. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this one. Dancing Baron Zemo. Jeez, look at that. That is so hilarious. So I, I really did love that uh, when Falcon the Soldier came out, the whole thing around uh, where there was a dancing scene and they released it afterwards. That was really, really funny. And now they made a pop of Dancing Baron Zemo. Absolutely awesome pop here and i really do love the falcon of the Winter soldier i would honestly say so far it's my favorite marvel series that's gone on disney plus i know a lot of people won't have the same opinion but i absolutely loved it because i love bucky and i love falcon i really loved zemo as a part of that so now being able to get the dancing zemo pop to add to the regular zemo pop that we see here on the back with a lot of the other falcon of the soldier pops this one is definitely really awesome and I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here and there is not yeah that's a little confusing because uh that's only four pieces and it says right in the back side five pieces if you see there it says five pieces in there uh so let me go ahead and check out this thing here yeah it's supposed to include a wandavision jimmy and darcy decal sticker they gypped me unless it is hiding somewhere else in here I did not see it at all. Man, I would have loved to have a Jimmy Woo and Darcy decal. That would be really awesome. Might have to reach out to Funko and see what, oh, what's going on with that. Maybe I can get that. But I really do like this haul here. Definitely the pops are the highlight. The pin is cool. The t-shirt, eh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, it, it's still really funny, but it's not going to be a shirt that a lot of people are going to get. When, if you wear it out walking around, but it's still pretty funny. We do have one more reveal left to go. So on these cards, I haven't looked at it yet. On the back, it does say, well, actually I already know because of what's been reported online about what the next box is. But on the back of this card, we can reveal what the next Marvel Collector Court box is going to be. And it's gonna be Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Let's go. I can't wait to see what we get from that box. I don't know when it's gonna come out. I assume it's gonna come out in May, like because the movie comes out May 6th. Tickets are already on sale by the time you've seen this as well. So I already got my tickets, hopefully. I am pumped. Uh, but yeah, now we'll be able to get the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness box. Hopefully that won't be delayed, but probably it will be delayed. But I do like the box today. Like I said, especially with the pops, these two are absolutely fantastic. I do want to hear from you guys though. What do you think about the Marvel Collector Core box this time around? What's your favorite thing that we that we showed off today? Get I'm really upset they didn't give me that decal. I will be reaching out to Funko to try and get that decal sent over to me on my next order because I definitely would love that sticker. But I want to hear from you guys what your thoughts are about this box. How do you think this box compares to some of the other previous Marvel Collector Core boxes like the Shang-Chi one and Eternals and the Year of the Shield, some of those other ones that we got back in 2021. How does this compare? Let me know what your thoughts are. And of course, if you guys can, make sure you hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and help us on our road to 2,000 subscribers. Be a huge help. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again 
real soon.